Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a buffer for points, lines and polygons in RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So now in the table of contents section, you can able to visualize I have created three different shape files that is point, line and polygon. So you can visualize in the map section here, I have created a points and a line and a polygon. So buffer tool is very useful to identify the the things that is available within the specific radius of the buffer you're going to create. For example, suppose if you want to check out the different things that is available within this uh, point. For example, I'm going to create a buffer of around a uh, uh, 10 kilometer radius. I want to analyze the different things that is available within that area. Or you can also consider a different land use pattern that is available within this specific buffer. From this point, of uh, we're going to create a buffer of 10 kilometers radius. So in this way, you can analyze the different uh, land use patterns or different build up area that is available within this point. And also, you can consider this particular line as a railway route. And you can uh, analyze the different uh, things that is available within the specific route by creating a buffer of uh, 150 meters for the specific uh, railway networks. And, uh, and also for uh, consider, you can also consider this particular uh, polyline as a river river areas so you can uh, estimate you can create a buffer of 300 meters of a buffer and make an analysis the possibility of flooding and the nearby and you can analyze the near possibility of the nearby build up area that gets affected so using this buffer tools and now here you can able to visualize this is our point so I could like to make a buffer so for this point so uh, what you want to do is uh, to create a buffer, we have to navigate to this option called View Section, and here we can have we have to click this option called uh, Geo Processing. So in that, you can able to visualize here the window pops up here saying Geo Processing. In that, go to this option called Toolboxes, and here we have to select this particular tool called Analysis Tool. In that, we have to select this tool called Proximity. So now we can able to visualize we have the tool called Buffer creates a buffer polygon around an input feature to a specified distance. Now let me click this tool. And now here uh, you can able to uh, visualize our tool buffer. And now here you can able to visualize a buffer tool. So the input features we're going to select is so we're going to select first the point uh, shape file here. So once you've selected your point, you have to choose your output file location. So you can click this option here to browse and select your output file location. And now I selected my output file location. So once you did that, the so next we have to select the, the buffer uh, distance here. So let me enter as a three kilometer. I'm going to enter as three and we have to click the linear unit. So we have to uh, select uh, kilometers. So once you did that, we're going to click this option called run. And now let's run this tool. And now here you can able to visualize here. So here you can clearly able to visualize we have uh, created a buffer of three kilometers and uh, it's clearly uh, you can able to see that. So the next set of tool we're going to visualize here is that. So here using a single point we have created a single buffer. Suppose if you want to create a multiple buffer for a single point. So you can use this tool called uh, multiple ring buffer. So you can able to see that this is our multiple ring buffer. So let me input this. So in multi-ring buffer, we can create a multiple buffer for the single points. For example, we're going to create a one kilometer buffer and a two kilometer buffer, three, four and five. So for that, we're going to input our features. There is our point. And now we're going to select our output uh, location for this particular uh, multi-ring buffer tool. So you're going to choose my output file location. So here I'm going to save this in this file location point multi-ring buffer. So once you did that, we're going to add our distance here. Let me enter our distance. First, we're going to enter as one kilometer. And next, we're going to add as two kilometers. And next, we're going to add is uh, three kilometers and four kilometers and five kilometers. And here, the distance unit we're going to select is going to be uh, kilometers. So let me select the units that is kilometers. So once you uh, did that, we're going to click this option called run and uh, we're going to visualize the result. And now here you can able to visualize the result here. 
and uh, let me turn off our previous one here and turn this off here and here you can able to visualize we have created a multiple ring buffer for the specific points here so we created a buffer of one kilometer two three four and five kilometers and similarly we can uh, try this uh, for our polyline so let me turn this layer off we can now use it on our polyline here and now let us try this in our uh, in this buffer called our buffer tool here so now we're going to select this uh, in that we're going to input our feature will be our polyline here so we're indicating our this particular uh, polyline it is our road uh, network here so now in that we have, uh, we have to choose the output file location so once you did that we're going to save this and here we're going to enter our buffer radius that is our we're going to enter as one kilometer and here the units will be in kilometers we're going to select as a kilometers and you can also choose uh, the end type so there is flat as well as round type so in this video we're going to select uh, round uh, end type and now uh, we're going to click this option called run and now here you can be able to visualize our buffer is completed here and uh, we have cre created a, a buffer of one kilometers and uh, you can be able to visualize the different uh, features that is available within this specific buffer so for example within this uh, road network here you can able to visualize a, a polygon here that is indicating a lake and this specific buffer tool is very useful suppose if you want to involve in a project creating a road but there is a you want to identify the possibility of the different uh, natural reserves get affected on laying a road the buffer tool will be very useful to identify the nearby uh, reserves as well as the several communities uh, which get affected as uh, laying this road so you can use this uh, buffer tool as an analysis to identify the possibilities of uh, any forest areas or local local communities being getting affected. So it is very useful in this uh, this particular buffer tool. And now let us view this uh, attribute table of this specific uh, polyline buffer. So we're going to right click and click this option called attribute table. So now in that we're going to take a look at this uh, the polyline uh, buffer here. So here you can able to visualize here we have our uh, the buff distance that is a buffer distance of uh, 1000 indicating 1 kilometer. And now let me close this. So likewise you can create a buffer for polygon uh, the similar the similar to that is our buffer here. So in that we're going to select uh, in our input feature we're going to select as a polygon here. So let me select polygon. And now let me select my output file location. So once you do that, you can uh, enter the distance. Uh, for now, we're going to enter as 500 here. And now let us select the unit. This time, we're going to select the unit uh, will be in meters. And once you did that, uh, we can click this option called uh, Run. And let us view the result here. And now here, you can able to visualize. We have our uh, the polygon buffer we have created for a distance of 500 meters buffer. So you can visualize it now. So similarly, we're going to use our multiple ring buffer for our polygon here. So we're going to select this multiple ring buffer. So now in that, we're going to input feature will be our polygon. So the output feature class, you have to navigate your folder location to save your output file location. And now uh, once you did that, now we're going to enter the units for our buffer here. So let me select as uh, meters. And now we're going to enter the distance here. Let us enter a distance around uh, 500 uh, 500 add another one so we're gonna enter uh, 1000 add another we're gonna enter 1500 and 2000 so now once you did that uh, so here you can where we are selected our units and now click run and now let us visualize this result And now we have created our multiple ring buffer here. So for our polygon, so uh, let me turn this off here. And now we can able to visualize. We create, we have created a buffer distance starting from uh, 500 meters. And uh, next we will create it for 1000. And uh, next we create 1500 and 2000 meters. And now let us visualize our attribute table of a polygon multiple ring buffer. Right click and click this option called attribute table. So in that, uh, you can uh, visualize the distance 500, 1000, 1500 and 2000. 
So now let me close this. And suppose if you want to mark this uh, different distance in different colors, so you can uh, do it by just navigating this option, right click, click this option called symbology. So in that, we're going to select here the single symbols. From that, we're going to click this option called unique values. So in that, we're going to select this option called uh, distance. And now once you've selected your field, that is our distance here. So you can click this option here, that is our add all values. So now you can visualize uh, the buffer distance in different colors. And you can also check the check out this uh, option here. You can use these graduated colors. So you can visualize the different colors here. And now you can able to visualize here. So uh, in this video, I have shown you how to create a buffer for points, line and polygon in RGIS Pro. So using a buffer tool and multiple drink buffer. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.